I had a very different video plan for today, but unfortunately, nature's just not working with me. I decided I'm gonna work on some trailer upgrades that I've had sitting around and show you guys what I got going on. For today's video, I'm going over three must-have trailer accessories for your John boat. I think one of the most important additions or upgrades you can add to a trailer if it doesn't have it is a trailer jack. These things are immensely useful, especially when it comes to moving your trailer around and hitching it onto your vehicle. When I bought this trailer, it did not include a trailer jack. So the actual front of this just had to like sit on a piece of wood and then you would literally pick it up and pull it to your truck. A trailer jack lets you raise and lower the height so when you're trying to get it onto your actual hitch, you can just lower it right down and it gets in place. But most importantly, it comes with a swivel wheel. That allows you to just easily move the boat around your garage or wherever you're storing it with just the push of your hand. So the great thing about adding a trailer jack is it's super easy to install. Basically, the trailer jack just clamps to your trailer. It comes with a set of hardware, four bolts, two on the top and two on the bottom. It has a bracket here for spacing. Um, this will fit different thickness trailers. So if you see on the actual bracket, there's a bevel right here. You want that bevel to line up with the tube. That way when this is clamped, there's no way for this to slide up or down. This is the correct way the bracket should go. The, uh, the flat side is not towards here. It's actually towards the outside. This might actually help it bite a little bit better into the metal. There we go. So we'll be able to move this around a lot easier and lower it down when we need to. Now this next item is not necessarily an upgrade for your trailer, but it attaches to your trailer. So I'm gonna include it in this video. And that is a transom saver. Transom savers attach to a point on your trailer towards the bottom and they run a brace that goes to the bottom of your outboard. When you're driving and you hit a bump, rather than your outboard bouncing up and smashing back down onto its own bracket, this keeps the force all interconnected with your trailer to kind of brace the impacts of the outboard. So the main reason for a transom saver is to save wear and tear on your transom. Something that I find really helpful is that this gives me a lot of clearance. I live on a very sloped driveway. So without the transom saver, I was hitting the skeg if I just used the actual bracket to keep it up. All right, so the first step to installing our transom saver is going to be installing the bottom bracket that the transom saver clips into. The installation of the bracket is super easy. It's just a single carriage bolt. This is gonna go through the front of your trailer bar and then a washer and a lock nut on the reverse side. Please excuse my cocked out wrench here. This was part of the transom install. My hands got covered in 3M5200. All right, so once you have your bracket installed onto the trailer, the next step is to attach the actual transom saver. It comes with a pin. You just line it up in place, slide the pin in, just put the clip over, and now that locks the actual transom saver onto your trailer. With the transom saver in one hand, you're gonna raise your motor up and you're gonna put the transom saver on the bottom of your outboard. So once you have the transom saver bracing your outboard, you just secure it down from bouncing around using a bungee. Uh, they're usually supplied with a bungee. Uh, because this was a smaller outboard, I actually had to buy a smaller one than the one that came with it. It clips into the bottom of the transom saver. So now any impacts will translate right into your trailer. Something that I've really been wanting to install that I haven't had a chance to yet are these retractable transom tie downs. Normally, when you tie your transom off, you have your hook on the bottom and then your hook somewhere on your actual transom. So as a replacement to that, these are retractable transom straps. You can push the release to pull the strap out and then when you're ready to have the strap come back in, you'll be able to just push the button and the transom straps come back into the containers here. So that way, everything will be self-contained to one unit on your trailer, and you never have to take your transom straps on and off. All right, so I've removed the old transom straps, and I lined up where the new one's gonna go. This strap comes across, and that can bolt right like that. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, well, these bolts are gonna be too short. So as luck would have it, I happen to have two 
uh, pretty greasy sets of uh, bolts, washers, and nuts here that I had used for a uh, trailer roller I was trying to put on that I ended up not using. They fit all the way through. So with the bolt through there. Okay, so that's pretty tight. I'm actually gonna back this off a little bit so it's a little more loose. Okay, so now it can kind of move on its own. All right, so that's the angle it wants to be at. Okay, this is now in place and it is good to go. You just ratchet until it's tight and then it's locked in position. You push this blue button to release the ratchet and put it into the open position, which is right here. And then now your straps can come out. So the cool part is that now when you're ready to launch your boat, all you have to do is unhook your ratchet, right? You lay that down and you just push your button and your ratchet retracts itself. You're ready to trail your boat again. You need to get it out. You just pull the button into the open position, pull this out to the length that you need. Hook it back up on your handle, ratchet it down. And you're good to go. Total time saver, not a necessity, but definitely a worthwhile upgrade. Nothing is more annoying than having to fish for your ratchet straps and you know, getting on the ground and hooking them up to depending on where your uh, trailer points are. This is just a clean, easy solution. All right, guys, well, there they are. Honestly, I'm kind of kicking myself for not having done this sooner. The whole install maybe took about 10 minutes from start to finish. That was including salvaging some bolts from another project. These things were like 30 or 40 bucks. I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check them out. All you got to do is go to each buckle, put it in the unlock position, take our hook off. There, and you just push the button. There it is. Couple clicks. Locks it in place and you're good to go. All right guys, well those are my three most favorite trailer accessories that I've added to the John boat. This is gonna be such a killer help. I'm really excited to use this. A couple of people have been asking me about the crew, uh, the Crescent kayak I have on the wall here. I am really hoping to get this out soon. The weather has been all over the place as you saw in the beginning of the video. It was snowing yesterday and about 70 a couple days earlier. So the time is coming. We gotta get this down. I'm gonna get it all detailed up. I'm gonna be back on the water with that too. So a lot of cool things in store for the channel. Um, I got another couple things coming up for the John boat. That box in the corner is one of them. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe if you wanna follow along with the builds and thanks for watching.